Hi there. Now for this question, we had to work out the percentage error between the approximate area of S to that of the actual area of S. And what we do is we just work out the difference between the areas and compare it with the exact area. This fraction then, you just multiply by 100 to convert it to a percentage. And to one decimal place, you can see it's 2.6%. You'll notice that uh, I've drawn a diagram over here and you can see that because when we use the trapezium rule by the shape of the curve, the trapezium rule will give us an overestimate to the area. So clearly this answer, without working this one out on a calculator, this answer here has to be greater than this one. So. You can see I've taken the larger answer minus the smaller answer to get that error that exists. If you did this the other way around, all that's going to happen is you're going to get a negative value here. But really, you should be looking at the positive value. So that's why I took this one first, purely because I knew it was going to be bigger than this quantity here. Okay.